What's up guys, hope you are having a great day and in this video I want to focus a little bit on interpolation in JavaScript. With the release of ES6, JavaScript added a pretty cool feature called interpolation and interpolation is basically an advanced method of concatenation. What I want to do is to create a constant called first name, set it equal to Dari, a constant last name, set it equal to Nazar, and I want to create a constant called h, and I want to set it equal to 24. All my constants that I have created do have a value. I also want to create a let called val, and we're going to console log our val. Let's save it, and the type is undefined, which is true. Before the release of ES6, we used to concatenate. So we basically would say val is equal to single quotes, my name is space plus first name space plus one space in single quotes another plus of last name plus single quotes again and you can see that this is pretty difficult to work with and my age is plus age if we save it you can see that well it does work and it has been printed out on the screen but it is pretty annoying to constantly concatenate at plus signs, at variable names, and besides all of the annoying things about it, it can get pretty difficult to read and understand. Instead, we could use interpolation, which is basically inserting variables into a string using template literals. So what we basically could do is on the line below, say bell is equal to and be aware that whenever you want to use interpolation, you do not need to use single quotes, but you need to use backticks. Inside the backticks, we could use our string. So let's say my name is, well, let me remove the capital. And whenever you want to add a variable, you need to say dollar sign, opening and closing curly braces. And inside the curly braces, we need to write down our variable name. So in our case, it's first name, space, dollar sign, opening and closing curly braces, last name, and my age is dollar sign, opening and closing curly braces, age. Let's save it. And you can see that the output is exactly the same. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see the differences. It's so much easier to read interpolation instead of concatenation. Let me zoom in again. Let me mention it one more time because I know a lot of people make mistakes with the backticks instead of single quotes. And if I replace them with single quotes, you can see that it does not work and it will print out whatever is inside the single quotes. This was it about interpolation. I hope that I gave you a good overview of what it actually is and what the difference is with concatenation. If you do enjoy my videos and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.